Hi, Janet Smith here with 300 Dandelion Seeds. I want to show you and since share how you can save a post, how you can save a video or an image for later use. So if you go to your schedule a post page, which is the second icon from the top, you want to go down to the choose a file section. So if you click on choose a file, you can search through any images that you have saved on your computer to use them later. So let's just take this picture of me in the studio and say, I want to save that picture for later. It's on my computer, but I want to save it into SendShare. So upload the picture and you'll see right next to the uh, button that says schedule a post, there's a little arrow. If you click on that arrow, you'll be able to save it and you can click save. You've just saved that image. So if you have a video that you want to save, you can go on over to YouTube or wherever you have the video and you can copy that link, then head back on over to SendShare, paste that link into the paste a link button, click on the link icon so that it will populate that video. And once again, the little arrow next to schedule a post, you can click that and you can save it into your saved folders. So if you want to type something, you have a memory, type something that you don't want to forget. Forget it. <laughs> you have something that you want to type and you don't want to forget it. You can also save that into SendShare. Type whatever message you want, click save and it is now saved. Where are they, Janet? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. Well, let me, let me show you. So if you click on your saved folder right here, which is the fifth icon from the top, you'll see manage post. If you click on manage post, you'll be able to go to your saved folder and find all the things <laughs> that you have saved. So if you click on saved, <clears throat> All of your saved folders and everything that you saved will populate so that you can manage them. My screen is a little bit slow, but here are all, all of my folders that I've created. And um, <clears throat> so my saved content has just populated. So the most recent things that you've saved will populate. Here's that message that I didn't want to forget. Here's that video and here's that picture. So these are saved in your SendShare. And if you want to schedule them, you just click on the little edit post and it'll populate it back on your screen so that you can make any edits that you want. You can set a date, a time, and you can choose which network you want that to go out on and you can schedule it. How cool is that? Let's schedule this to my product testing group, which is a group that is private just for me for testing. <laughs> so we're gonna uh, schedule it in that, and as you see, it's gonna populate. Oh, well, you definitely wanna make sure that you choose dates that are in the future, <laughs> as it's telling me. So we're going to schedule that for 3.46 p.m. in the private group and schedule. <laughs> and it will populate over on the right-hand side with your other pending posts. How cool is that? Thanks for watching.